OK. Now, the last one is how can ultrasound detect moving blood? And that is done with the Doppler effect. So basically, the Doppler effect, as a recap, is a manifestation of a frequency shift of the sound wave if the object is moving, in this case, if there's moving tissue. This results in a shifted ultrasound frequency that can be detected with a demodulation. So that's just detecting a different sine wave to make it simple. OK, so where is this elsewhere used? I have shocking news for you. You have been exposed to the Doppler effect today. You just don't know it, probably. OK. How many of you have gone to Arkady? Pretty much everyone. Come on, admit it. Or um, if you walk through CM and you go over to the cupola, you walk through some doors that open magically. Right? Ever stood in front of the door and not moved? It closes again and pretends like you're not there. So what does the door do? What's in the door is an, is an infrared diode that emits infrared light. And when it gets back through the moving object, the wavelength of the light is slightly shifted through the Doppler effect, and that interference is detected. That's why when you stand in front of the door and you don't move, it will close. When you move, it'll open. That's how it detects motion. But it's a Doppler effect with um, electromagnetic waves. OK, so if we look at sound, stationary, I produce a sound, it'll turn, propagate with the same wavelength in all directions. If the source of the sound is now moving, it moves closer by V0T to the observer here on this end, and so now the separation of the wave ma maxima is now shortened by V0T. That gives you a change of apparent wavelength of C minus V0 times T in that period T. And here, it's the opposite on the other side because the object here is moving to the right. It's a prolongation, so it's an increase in wavelength. Um, you have all heard the Doppler effect. Now this time tell me you remember. OK? Ever heard an ambulance or a police car approach you and then go away from you? Ever noticed a change in sound? That's the Doppler effect. OK, so the shift, and I'll just give you the empirical frequency without a demonstration where it comes from. The Doppler shift is two times the frequency times the velocity of the object, times the cosine of the angle, which is the angle of the observer relative to the motion, divided by the wave, wave, uh, wave propagation velocity. Doesn't really matter too much here, just to give you an idea. In tissue, we have the speed of sound is one and a half kilo kilometers per second. Let's take, we take a speed of the source, that is blood, in an artery, about 50 centimeters per second. The frequency of the moving source now, here we don't have a moving source, but we have a reflection in a moving source at, at an object that moves. That's the same thing as the source is moving. And so the frequency of the ultrasound is 5 megahertz. OK, I dealt with the angle here. And now we can give an example. So if we take this example, we've got 5 megahertz. Um, a frequency, we have got the factor 2, we have the velocity, which is a half a meter per second, we have the wave propagation velocity, and if you do that, you get a shift in Doppler in ultrasound frequency of 3 kilohertz. Yay, that sounds wonderful. 3 kilohertz, that's not bad, huh? Well, it's 0.05% of the ultrasound frequency. So it's a small shift, but the good thing is about electronics and today's detectors, a 3 kilohertz shift with demodulation is easily measurable with the appropriate electronics. So what you observe is the Doppler shift here that is decoded, the frequency shift, because you demodulate the frequency and you can see the moving blood. 
So this is now an example of an internal carotid artery stent. So it's a reinforcement for somebody who has some vascular problems. And if you look at it, now in red is the Doppler demodulation. Behind is a static ultrasound image that you can still reconstruct. And now you see the pulsatile flow of blood. And because the stent has some cylindrical structure with reinforcements at a certain distance, you can see the turbulences of the blood flow in this uh, case. Somebody's talking here on the video. So, just before the break, I am going to try to demonstrate the Doppler effect here. <clears throat> so, what you have on Actually, the better way is to show you the camera output as well. So I can show you. You have it on the screen overhead. This is an ancient ultrasound detector, Doppler ultrasound from the labs here. What you have on the screen is the signal that it detects. What I'm now going to do is see if I can see my uh, jugular artery, the pulsation on it. Can you hear it? Yeah. Right? It's very fast. That's the nervosity of the teacher. But this is what you also hear when you observe a, uh, uh, a baby in the fetus. It goes all the... That's a very characteristic sound. Okay, with that we'll break and continue at a quarter after.